Sports Overtime is back in two minutes with Rampage highlights and kicker Brian Goins. NBC, it's been a losing battle. First, they lost the NFL, then Major League Baseball. Last year, the NBA should mention they also dropped the ball in the XFL. The only thing left for the executives at the Peacock Network, arena football, ping pong, badminton. And <laughs> You're bad. There's got to be something. Bad. Rampage, they kicked off their season last night, and what a way to begin it. Holding Buffalo to just 14 second half points. Clint Dalzell, four touchdown passes, 235 yards, and three of those four TDs going to former Buffalo receiver Steve Smith. That's fine, Buffalo. Your loss is Grand Rapids gain. Chris Ryan also having a monster night. They call him the little bus on this team. 31 yards and a touchdown. Not bad for a guy who sat out a lot of the week with an injury. Rampage taking the season over in Buffalo, 54 to 36 and joining us now on sports overtime just like he did every week last season rampage <laughs> kicker brian goins bg great to have you back i know uh, i don't know if we're doing the video camera again this season like we did last year yeah, but i'm sure it'll make its appearance one, once in a while yeah. um for yeah. everything you guys went through last year and being the defending champs and you know your, your the whole slogan was come and take it and they did <laughs> eight and six <laughs> lost. jumped all over that one yeah uh first round bounce in the playoffs how important was it for you guys to uh, get a win in the first game this year? Well, it's always good to get off to a good start. And this, this game was uh, particularly difficult because this year we had no preseason games. So it, it was kind of like a, a, a totally new experience coming out there at, at game speed. And, and we did not have any, any film on the other team, so we couldn't game plan or couldn't scheme against Buffalo. It, both, both teams went into it blind. And, and actually, I think that worked out well for us because uh, uh, honestly, I think we were a more talented team than they were. And plus, Grand Rapids native uh, Ray Bentley, who was the coach of the Shores the last two years, not there anymore. So, I mean, a, a little bit hard to prepare. So you know right, it was a totally new scheme that they had implemented. So, um, definitely going in blind. Obviously, you look at the defense. You guys gave up 14 points in the second half. So, you address the defense, and maybe it's, it's worked a little bit. Right, that was our key offseason uh, acquisitions were made all on, on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, a lot of unfamiliar faces, but a lot of them uh, did really well last night. Uh, played played great. Uh, Cecil Doggett, in particular, had a great game, and uh, we held them to 36 points, which is, is something we didn't do a whole lot last year. So I, I think we've greatly improved in the defensive secondary. And you also have a new defensive coordinator this year. Correct. Um, we have uh, Glenn Hall as as come in and, and kind of implemented a new scheme, and uh, seems to be working well. So Speaking far, of doing well. You had a pretty good game. Last <laughs> I, night. I, I I did. Now, come did on, my you, part. you struggled last year. You got to admit. Wow. For, for the real uh, <laughs> Of the year, picking up Brian Goins after a this game. After I, I mean, you were kind of, you know, two years ago, you guys win the championship, and you're Arena League Kicker of the Year. Last year, the team struggled, this, and you weren't as consistent this, as the year. This before. is all true. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. You guys are giggling <laughs> over here. That's nice. But, uh, um, no, I, and it was good for me to get off to a good start because I did have some competition in camp, and, and it was, uh, I think, a, a good thing that uh, I was tested in camp and then came out a little bit more prepared and, and had a, a fairly good game. Not a perfect game, but a fairly good game. Were you ever in jeopardy? Of losing your job in camp, um, yeah, the guy the guy they brought in was pretty good. So really, uh, he was pretty good. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm I'm satisfied with how how we came out of there, and, and I'm glad I had a good game, which kind of set their mind at ease, so they don't call him back. <laughs> so there you go. Short off season. I know that's been one of the big things this year. I mean, it, it seems like okay, it's middle of winter. What are the Rampage doing playing? How are the? I mean, it's probably a lot easier for us at home and the fans out there, Rampage fans, to get used to you guys playing now. But what about for you guys coming in with a short off season and you know, it maybe was a, just it was a short off season, but that's that's because there's a bigger prize out there, which is NBC um, network broadcast TV games, and and if they're offering that to us, and we we have to take what they want, and and they wanted to continue the football season from the end of the Super Bowl to to have us pick up right where they left off. And if, if they're going to offer us a network TV deal where we're going to have uh, at least four games broadcast uh, nationwide, we're, we're going to take it. Yeah, talk about those four games. I mean, on a schedule, you show more than four on NBC. But kind of talk about the breakdown of why that four. Why is it four games? Is that well, kind of just a testing period? They're, they're regionally broadcast. So you're gonna, if you're in Chicago, you're going to get the Chicago game. If you're in L.A., you're going to get the L.A. game. And if you're in New York, you're going to get the New York game. You know, they're, they're trying to generate interest. It's all about the ratings. You're trying to get the home teams and the biggest markets the most exposure. But um, I think NBC did a really good job yesterday. I, or today, we watched all the games. It's been a long day. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost <laughs> past midnight. Um, anyway, they, they did a really good job. And the game that we had here in Grand Rapids was supposed to be the best game, which was Arizona versus San Jose, the rematch of last year's Arena Bowl, which on paper looked like the best game, but uh, when it got out of hand, 
they switched to another game. And they had live look-ins throughout all, all the broadcasts. You would see pretty much what was happening in all the other, other three games. So no, they did a really good job. It's no secret that they have the big market teams on regionally right now. Right, right. Why is that? Well, with anything that's new, like a new uh, TV series, a comedy or whatever, you want, you want to make a big splash in your first weeks. And they're going to have the teams with the biggest markets trying to have the biggest draw to get the initial ratings because it's a tough time of year because you got we were on today up against uh, NHL All-Star game which is people are going to watch that especially around here and uh, you know there was a good golf on on the other channels we were you know we have a tough situation going up against the competition we have and and uh, it's it's a kind of a make or break year for arena football and our deal with NBC hopefully it makes mm -hmm. BG thank you appreciate it pleasure you're going to have a great video season. camera. Didn't ask me Think about, about Banner Jack. That's good. That's good. Think about this kid's off season. June, July, and August. Golfing. Solid. A little bit of golf, probably. Just a little bit. A little bit of golf. Maybe. Just a little. See if I can find a partner. <laughs> Thanks, BG. Coming up on Sports Overtime, we're going inside the ring. Cedar Springs native Troy Rowland. They're knocking off the Colorado Crush in Denver on Friday night. That's big Chris Ryan. Rampage down 20 to 19. <laughs> Who's there? Chris Ryan picks it up. Touchdown Rampage. They take the lead 25-20. Quint Dalzell stumbling back in the end zone. Quint picked off. 17-yard touchdown crushed to going up by 10 points. 35-25. Fourth quarter. Dalzell three yards back in the end zone. Sean Riley is there. Cuts it to 55-52. And then on steps Brian Goins. Oh, money. <laughs> Goal post could be, what, three feet wide? And he still would have nailed it. Although he did miss three extra points. Rampage taking 57-55. And look who's here. It's Brian Goins. Yeah. Somehow I knew you wouldn't skip over that three extra point there. <laughs> Wearing blue. Blue shirt. At Bert and Dave, we wanted him to wear a tie, too, to match mm. everyone, but... No, no, no tie. Didn't. I had to be a little more casual than you guys. Yeah. A little darker blue. Yeah, a little darker. All right, 2-0. Oh. I mean, I know... It's, it's great that we escaped that one. Uh, really, we didn't play well. Uh, we didn't play well on offense. I don't think we played well on defense, and we definitely didn't play well on special teams. But uh, the way it worked out, came away with victory. We got an onside kick at the end of the game, got... Got it down and kind of did pretty good clock management, got in position, and, and won it on a field goal. Now, no one's going to call you an idiot kicker for saying we didn't play well on offense or, or <laughs> defense. Well, I, I don't think there's going to be any argument from any of the guys on the team. Uh, we just didn't play very well. I, uh, we got a couple of lucky breaks with uh, John Dutton. Ball slipped out of his hands twice and, and led to touchdowns for us. So, uh, fortunate bounces went our way and uh, came out of Colorado a tough place to play uh, really they're doing a great job 17,000 people they filled the house so uh, that's something for us to shoot for next week when we go on national television is to be louder than their place because their place was incredibly loud and uh, got a victory what is the deal with the balls there in Colorado is it because it's so dry there or what is it well there's two things I think uh, their equipment manager does a does a job where he's rubbing them down and it makes them look all shiny and nice for TV but uh, uh, a lot of guys really don't like that. Guys with smaller hands, I don't, didn't get a chance to shake his hand or anything, but uh, uh, you see, you've seen it happen to Brett Favre or whatever. Um, in, in playoff games when it gets cold and also in Colorado, real dry air, it slips out of there. It's happened to him four times. And you're the one who kind of manages the balls on uh, your team. On uh, our team, yeah. Our, <laughs> our, our <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm not laughing. It's not fun. Uh, yeah, our, <laughs> I'm basically half equipment manager for us too, so... Uh, yeah, our, our, ours is a little better, a little right. better taken care of. You brought your video camera. This yeah, time. yeah, I got a little bit, a uh, little technical difficulties. Didn't get everything I wanted to, but uh, here's some sound bites from uh, this weekend. All right, roll tape. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Hey, how long have you been here? Too long. Two hours with two and a half more to go. Hey, aren't you glad they moved the season? <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of answering that damn question. Yeah, so play more golf. So what you got going on for breakfast? I got a little French toast going on, hash browns, a little something light, you know, nothing too heavy today. Just want to get something in my system before pregame meal, you know. Tomorrow's so telling me that about uh, his theory of eating light before the game. <laughs> Does this, uh, this doesn't really match the light breakfast theory. Well, big breakfast, light lunch. Big breakfast carry you to the end of the game. Okay. So happy anniversary. Appreciate that. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's tomorrow. Be six years tomorrow? tomorrow. Okay, well, I take it back then. <laughs> That's fine. Don't tell us tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll do my little happy anniversary tight end wave. 
That's actually what that's for. When I when I when I'm a tight end, I when I do like that. You know, most guys just raise their hand. I wave, and I'm waving to my family. So. Yeah, that's true. All day on my Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, Jerry Springer. Get you ready for the game. All right, get your tickets. They're going fast. Rampage home opener a week from today at the Van Andel 3 o'clock kickoff. The New York Dragons will be in town, of course, with the goals, so maybe it's a chance to take another game. You're going to like that, all the little behind-the-scenes stuff from the airport and the hotel and all that. All right, well, coming up straight ahead on Sports Overtime, you're not going to believe what we're going to show you, but we promise it's going to be good. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.